Part of this school year, more than 1,600 teaching jobs were unfilled across the state of South Carolina. Public education advocates say while raising pay alone won't turn that around, it is an important component. State House reporter Mary Green explains what lawmakers are now proposing. This week, the House Ways and Means Committee, which writes the budget, agreed to its proposed spending plan for the next year. They're working with about a $600 million surplus, and they want to use about a third of that money to pay teachers more. Teachers were, on, at least on the House side, were the huge winners um, as far as this year's budget. The proposal would raise the statewide minimum salary for teachers by $4,500, up to $47,000. That's more than both Governor Henry McMaster and State Superintendent Ellen Weaver had requested. Representative Neil Collins, who serves on Ways and Means Public Education Subcommittee, says that boost is intended to retain more teachers early in their careers because data shows the greatest teacher turnover comes in their first five years in the classroom. The budget would also add steps to the teacher pay schedule, so veteran teachers would be guaranteed additional raises later in their careers. That's an important action because A, it allows your most veteran teachers to continue to get a, a step increase to the minimum age at which they could retire at 28 years, even though most teachers work beyond that. And that in turn has an impact on the retirement pension that a teacher could be expecting um, upon retirement. Again, this is still a proposal. The budget still needs to get approval in the entire House of Representatives, then be hashed out with the spending plan that the Senate approves, and of course get the sign off from the governor. So things could still change between now and then. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Governor McMaster wants to raise the statewide starting salary up to $50,000 by the year 2026. But get this, Representative Collins says if the increase to $47,000 is implemented this year, that puts the state within striking distance of reaching the governor's goal a year early.